hello, Joe Gaming Girlie here, and today we have a pickups of Switch and ZX Spectrum games. Oh, yes. Woo, I can't wait to get into this and show you what I got. But first off, I actually got this. Ah, it's so cool. I'm a huge Iron Maiden fan, and uh, absolutely, this tin's awesome. So yeah, I got um really cool tin. I definitely can use that <laughs> for storing art pens, maybe. <laughs> definitely could fit quite a few pens in there. But yeah, I wanted to get a really cool Iron Maiden glass, and it came with this and uh the beer trooper. So yeah. Normally I have a cup of tea on um, my videos, don't I? But uh, yeah, I've had some beer in my videos sometimes. Yeah, not quite a full pint, but... <laughs> so yeah, so we've got the uh, Trooper Premium Brit British Beer. And it's 4.7%. So yeah, I've had it before, it's really nice, so... Cheers with my awesome Iron Maiden glass. <laughs> mm. ah, that's so good. So good. Nice and cold as well, which is nice. Yeah, I've been really busy today, um, so there won't be a video on one of the Fridays. Sorry, but um, got so much to sort out. <laughs> um. As you well know, I've been mega sorting out and going through all of my video games. Um, and I've been selling a lot on, a lot of games on, a lot of consoles on, and we've had a real good sort out with all this lot. Yeah, so we've made quite a huge amount of room, but it doesn't mean to say I'm going to fill it up as soon as I've gotten rid of a whole lot of stuff, because that is pointless um so yeah <laughs> i can get some games only if i see some like we did get um uh, re2 for the n64 um and yeah so we got that um mostly out we traded some stuff in to get that and yeah we we got a whole load of retro we no longer wanted or cared about and yeah we just gave that in and got my <laughs> Resident Evil game I wouldn't have no way would have, I no way would I part with my money for that because that's very expensive but didn't mind trading in the retro because obviously I didn't pay loads of money for well, any of my retro, <laughs> luckily. <laughs> um, yeah, I got it back when back in the day when it was very cheap to collect. <laughs> uh, yeah. So it was for us paupers, <laughs> but now it's for the rich. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. Um, no, it, it's well, it's getting quite. Some get you still can collect cheap, but it's it's it is getting up there now so oh some of the prices i'm like oh my god mm. anyway, oh that's a good point that's a good point not gonna drink that all on camera <laughs> but yeah but anyway so getting to the point <laughs> i don't know what i'm talking about here <laughs> oh i haven't done a video like this in a while because i've just been doing like gameplay videos so I've been behind the camera or, you know, not really camera and face talking to it kind of situation. So I'm a bit rusty. <laughs> um, but anyway. <laughs> so yeah, I've been mega sorting out the collection because I, I just, I want to, to be fair, I don't actually have a huge collection <laughs> at all. Um, especially compared to a lot of YouTubers. Uh, they have some... Huge, ginormous, big collections. Um, but yeah, I've only got a small collection. I don't have a games room, as you well know. Just have this 
I guess corner <laughs> and a couple of storage boxes basically that is my collection I will do a, a video on this soon I'll show you it all eventually again but um yeah so been sorting everything out been going through everything and yeah I've just been selling and selling and selling and yeah so <laughs> we've had a lot of um made a lot of space and yeah I just don't particularly I don't want a large collection anymore I, I just don't basically I don't want it to get out of hand I just you know I don't want too much because I just feel having too many games is just yeah you just uh, they just sit on the shelf if you have far too many and it's just too much options then I feel like having a smaller collection is better so I actually want to make it even smaller soon um, I'm literally looking at all of the consoles <laughs> as well yeah, so yeah some consoles might be going soon but anyway we did get some ZX Spectrum games I'm not gonna go too mad on it because purely because it, I love it but it's not something that I grew up with it's a little bit before my time <laughs> but it is very very interesting at the moment I'm fully enjoying it and I'm playing it a whole lot but I didn't want to go yeah I made a huge amount of space I, I tell you in a moment I'll show you these first um but yeah he made a huge amount of space because I've got rid of a console and a collection which I'll get to in a minute um but I didn't want to fill that space with a ton of spectrum tapes you can go quite mad with uh the spectrum because they you know they're small little tapes they don't take up a lot of space but i'm i'm not gonna do that i just saw these they were interesting so i bought them so yeah first off i got aqua squad um yeah it it interested me it's like a try, uh, i'm not very good at explaining what games <laughs> So, I would say it's like a little shooter um, and you're underwater um, and there's like yeah basically it's just an underwater shooter basically I, I'm rubbish at um, you know explaining what <laughs> a game is it, and so, like even though I've like well I haven't played this yet but there's games where I can't even describe it and I've played it for Christ. <laughs> I'm not a professional game channel, right? I'm just a gamer. <laughs> I'm just somebody that enjoys this hobby. That that is literally it. But um, yeah. So we got Aqua Squad, and it looks really cool. There are some screenshots on the back. I love the artwork on this as well. It's absolutely brilliant. So yeah, I think I'm gonna enjoy that. Um, and we also got this game tracks um no screenshots on this one at all doesn't have a thing um but basically I, but from what i saw gameplay wise it looked really interesting actually um it's kind of like a puzzle game it's like this grid and then you just got to like well it's kind of on there and you just got to complete these like light up these squares and just go and check out some gameplay i'm not very good at like it is it's a puzzle game i guess i think <laughs> i would call it that anyway um yeah so yeah i've got some tracks there um and i don't need to explain what this game's about so we got um shinobi um and there is screenshots and it looked pretty cool this shinobi game at the moment I'm playing uh, Golden Axe games. Uh done one so far, but I'm basically going to go through all of the Golden Axe games that I have. Um, they won't be all up at once, it'll just be spread out. But yeah, Golden Axe I'm going to be playing. And I would like to play a load of Shinobi games, so that's why I grabbed this. And also it looked awesome and I generally do want to play this game. So yeah, these are... That's all I got. <laughs> and yes, it is retro, I know. 
So I got these three ZX Spectrum games. And yeah, it is retro. I know I said I'm dumb. But now I'm done. <laughs> um, yeah, like I say, um, I made a little space. Um, basically pulled out the 7800. I decided I'm going to get rid of that. Um, because I've been, I've been playing it a whole lot. But um, I realised I literally only like three games on that system. And because I want to make my collection even smaller, I just thought, yeah, I've had my fun. That can go. So I pulled that out, I pulled all of the 7800 games out, and yeah, gave me a lot more room. I have this like storage box with basically ZX Spectrum and loose 2600 games, Atari 2600 games, um, I think I've got a little bit of extra PS1 in there, <laughs> but it's given me a huge amount of space now, so um, yeah, so I thought I'd grab, they look cool these tapes that ZX Spectrum games so uh, yeah I generally wanted to try them out and you know um, as long as I don't go too mad and basically fill it up you know I don't want to because I make space it don't mean so I'm going to fill that entire space with something new I a couple of horror games on Steam not too many uh, at all but yeah I just buy I just download games these days. I'm enjoying the PC. Um, and obviously the Switch. Um, and the first one I got is... I got Oddworld Soulstorm. And this is absolutely br This is what I'm playing at the moment. And I really love this game. Um, I completed Oddworld 1 and 2 on the PlayStation 1. Um, not long ago. And yeah, I really wanted to play another Odd world game anyway um it comes i didn't realize but it comes with like a still book so the game um and yeah the still book oh and <laughs> yeah it does come with something else so there's the still book it's really nice and the still book basically holds your little um switch games also comes with these like amazing cards with amazing artwork on it yeah beautiful um, and I'm absolutely enjoying this game uh, absolutely, it's absolutely brilliant <laughs> so yeah can be hard at times but really really good game mm. Anyway, we got a horror game. So we got Killer Frequency. Um, and I like my short modern games. I like uh, Stray was absolutely amazing. I loved how short it was as well. Didn't overstay its welcome. It was just, it was just perfect. I absolutely love Stray. And I heard this one is also a short, nice game. So yeah, I can't wait to play this. Um, but yeah, basically you're like a radio DJ. Um, and there's like, it's puzzle solving. Um, and you have to, you have to save a, save callers from a mysterious killer, basically. Um, that's the best I can describe that game so it's something different anyway yeah 100 percent um the next game we got is puzzle bubble ever bubble <laughs> is that how you... yeah puzzle bubble ever bubble <laughs> so yeah we got this for the switch um i like these kinds of games the bubble bubble sort of puzzly yeah uh, i love the one on playstation one awesome so yeah, I just thought, oh yeah, no, that'd be a cool sort of like chill game to play. Um, and we also got Luigi's Mansion 2. Amazing. Yay! Yes, this is a fairly new game. Um, and it was originally, was it the 3, yeah, 3DS, was it? It was on that originally. 
And obviously I didn't have the 3DS, so it's very cool, very cool that I get to play this. <laughs> Finally. Um, obviously I played the GameCube one. Uh, I literally bought that back when it first came out on the GameCube and absolutely love it. Still have it to this day, my original copy. In fact, most of my collection is original from when I was young and a teenager. <laughs> And yeah, sadly I didn't get to play this one. And I played the third one on the Switch. But now I can play this and I got a physical copy. So that means I got a physical copy of all three. So I'm very, very happy about that. Uh, <laughs> coming to the end. <laughs> uh -huh. And we have the Oddworld collection. Yes. Obviously I got back into my old world games you know i've absolutely been enjoying you know the first and the second odd world on ps1 but anyway on here there's new and tasty odd world munchies odyssey and odd world strange wrath so yeah so you got three on here um and um i played the obviously that the first one I haven't played the other two. Um, the Odd World Mun Munchies Odyssey. I think that was X, the OG Xbox, I think. Um, and I haven't obviously played the Odd World Sh of Sh Stranger's Wrath. Oh, there you go. Stranger's Wrath. I said it wrong, I think. Um, so yeah, that's kind of cool. Um, that's everything, basically. All my pickups. I didn't... Obviously, it's not a huge amount at all because like I say <laughs> kind of dumb collecting really I mean some people see it as sad times like no Joe no, don't stop but um nah it's been good man I mean I'm enjoying all of the games uh you know slowly playing through them all um or replaying them <laughs> so obviously I've got some to probably lay off on the switch for a bit because that's a good chunk there and obviously i got i still got to get basically i've got a backlog now a backlog of switch so there won't be a pickups for a very long time now because i've got to get a lot of switch done um i was doing really good and then i just kept buying them and buying them because i just i really enjoyed the switch I feel like it's um it's a lovely console for retro gamers I feel. Um there's a bit of everything on here. And also I love my horror and there's a good selection of horror games on the Switch actually. Um and that's another reason why I'm I don't want a PS5 or well, I've never been into Xbox. <laughs> Sorry Xbox fans if there are any Xbox fans watching this but um yeah, I I Never been an Xbox fan. I almost bought the OG Xbox, but um, yeah, kind of glad I didn't buy that actually. <laughs> and I went with the consoles that I went with back in the day. But um, yeah, um, yeah, I just I don't want a PS Five. They're just modern piece. They're just they're just basically a, a small PC, and I just <sighs> now I now I'm on now I have the PC and Steam and I can get games on there it it's opened up this amazing world there's so many horror games on there as a horror fan it's amazing <laughs> so why the hell would I have a console where there's barely any there's barely any horror games and you can get so many unique horror games because obviously there's um, indie horror games. Um, we've played quite a few on the channel. You know, Echoes of the Living. Can't wait till that comes out. Um, I th think I read somewhere that it it is there. Basically, it is two people making that game. So obviously there will be a wait, but <laughs> I don't mind waiting because that <laughs> from what we played from the demo when it was out oh my god it was so good there's just so many interesting games on steam sorry 
I'm no longer a console gamer. I have literally turned to the dark side when it comes to, you know. I'm a PC gamer now. Oh my lord. <laughs> but, um, always will be a retro gamer. Always will be. Just because I'm not buying many retro games apart from these three random ZX. But well, I came across these, okay. And I... They look interesting, so whatever. <laughs> I'm allowed to get one or two if I bump into anything interesting, but um, as long as it, as long as I don't, as long as it don't get out of hand, which is, you know, I don't want it. Like I said, I don't want it to overtake my life. I, I, I love space. I don't, I don't want clutter. I don't want clutter everywhere at all. So yeah, PC, awesome, because I just download stuff. And we can have very good professional gameplay videos for you all. Um, <laughs> and I think a lot of people have been enjoying the RE5 um, gameplay videos and various other things. Um, I actually bought the Mega, Mega Drive collection thing on PC, so <laughs> we could do some professional Mega Drive stuff. We can just have a Mega Drive gaming day professional version unlike the one where I'm <laughs> literally filming the TV and me on the couch and that kind of thing so um yeah <laughs> we've got so many things we can do so many things um but yeah I've got a lot of video skill with I've got a lot in the works I have a PS3 gaming day in the works uh pinball craziness uh, video that I'm trying to do there's another walk video that I could do that I've literally had it on my camera for a long time. Yeah. Wow, this is a very chatty video. It might be the beer. I don't know. <laughs> no, it's not. It's only one. Anyway. Thank you, guys. And i see you in the next video. Bye. Cheers.